Hey, what's going on? Let's do an update. A guy asked me, hey, is it really worth it for you to put all this work and money into doing this solar trackers versus just a ground mount? My answer is unequivocally, unequivocally yes. Number one, these were only $439, okay? So the, the actual ground mount cost more than this solar tracker cost. Now in hindsight, because hindsight's 2020, I would have preferred to use this huge 2.4 kilowatt grid on this guy. This guy's just 1.2 kilowatts. So here's what I do. These guys both work, okay? This one is 100% tied to my grid. That's all this guy does is give me a little feedback to the grid. I'll show you how much he's putting out. This guy charges my off-grid battery bank. But what I find is this thing will charge my limited battery so fast, I need to parallel these two in the afternoon to get the maximum output. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so right now I have it set up the way it's normally set up. You can hear the, I love when I hear that fan. When that fan is going, let me pull this door closed. When that fan is going, man, that means I'm making energy. So wow, look at that 1200 watt array is giving me 1500 watts right now. Well, that and in addition to this guy. So I've got Solar Tracker 1, Solar Tracker 2. I call them Manny and Mo. Manny feeds this guy 100% all the time. Right now I'm getting 237 volts at 6.3 amps. 1.49 kilowatt. Look how close that is. 1.49 kilowatt. All right, but this actually is what's going back at a really good power factor, almost power factor of one. Now, what I'll notice is this is only putting out 663 watts and it's feeding, still feeding my batteries. So my batteries are getting six, uh, almost seven amps feeding in. They're almost 100%. When these guys get full, okay, Instead of this just shutting off, I'll turn the batteries off. Because originally what I would do is I would shut off here, because this will also adds my, my battery and my second solar tracker. It just allows it to feed this guy that I use at night. So let me explain. I know it sounds confusing. I'm an electrical contractor. I've got five EVs in my house. Okay, most of the EVs get charged after 4 p.m. when the sun starts to get weaker. So what I do is I will turn my batteries on to help combine whatever solar I'm still getting with this battery and it will generate power back to my grid that I use to charge my vehicles. So what I'm finding is that that large 2.4 kilowatt charges these batteries up pretty quick. Now I'm getting more batteries on order for some reason, lie time, they're doing some changes. They were ampere time, now they're lie time. And the only ones they have of these are used. I didn't want to get a used one. I'm waiting for a new production run. I want to keep these the same. So I want to get at least four more of these and I've got them, they're on back order. I don't want to mix this batch of batteries. Once those batteries come, I'm going to put them in a permanent housing on wheels and get rid of these four by fours that are just holding it up now. So I've got, not a great time to do this test, but I'm going to show you anyway. So I'm getting a really nice output from the sun, right? It's generating almost 6.7 amps at 240 volts, right? What I found yesterday was I depleted these batteries because I'm greedy and I wanted to get as much energy as I could. And then a thunderstorm rolled in. And I was like, oh man, I've got no batteries. So that's where you have to be cognizant right when these guys get charged up shut them off and then use the excess solar to go back to your grid so if the power were to have failed yesterday and i would have turned on this breaker to turn on my inverter the 10 10 kilowatt inverter there would have been no juice left because my greed wanted me to get as much power as i can 
What do you think? It's really kicking, man. It's nice. I love to hear that fan. Let's do a little test. I hate to do it while everything is working good, but it's a real-time scenario. I really appreciate you guys watching this, and if there's anything, I, I learn a lot from your videos. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off that portion. I'm going to actually turn off my 2.4 kilowatt tracker. I'm going to turn him off. Watch what happens when I turn him off. Now this will reset back to zero. Anytime the input signal changes, it needs to catch up, take a look at what's going on, and then put the output out. So my 1.2 kilowatt tracker, Manny, is giving me a true 523 watts. And you can see I'm back down to 2.1 amps. That's my one solar tracker. Now, solar tracker number two is now dedicating itself into this battery. So six amps is going into the battery and seven amps is going into that battery from this grid, from this guy. Well, soon that's gonna fill up. And if I leave here, and this stops, I lose all those rest of those hours of that nice grid. So what I'll do is I'm going to shut these batteries off. So if I shut the batteries off, right, now there'll be nothing coming into, obviously, because they're off. There'll be zero amps going in. You can see the sun went down a little bit. So I'm not, no, there's no more battery. And there's nothing coming back from this portion, from, from the second um, solar tracker. If we look at the solar tracker, he's giving me nothing, putting out nothing. So what I'll do is I'm going to add, I'll leave the batteries off, and I'll add back Mo, the second big solar tracker, to here. So the point is, It'd be nice to have a system where once the batteries are completely charged, that it will automatically switch back over and, and feed my grid. Now, I know what you're going to say. You can see my, look how much I'm back up now. And you can see the output now is a kilowatt from that. And here is going to be nothing, right? Because I have the battery off. So now whatever this is taking, is going through and feeding, and this is paralleled up. So now what I like to do is, again, when the technicians come back today at the end of the day, and the weather is okay, I'll turn these batteries back on and allow that to grid feed me back, and then I can use my equipment to charge. Does that make any sense, or do I just confuse the heck out of everybody and cause everybody to get out of my channel? I hope I didn't. I'm just trying to give you feedback on what I'm doing. I'm finding little tricks and tips that work for me. So I'm going to leave these batteries off and I'm going to take advantage of the rest of the kilowatt usage. And I've got 132 kilowatt hours. I'm going to say that's maybe not even two weeks. Not even two weeks that I'm getting from these, just from these 3.6 kilowatt. So someone asked me, yeah, do you recommend the solar trackers? Absolutely. Go price them. Go try and find a grid, a, a ground mount power strut framing or go to Home Depot and buy wood and see how much $439 buys you. It doesn't buy you much. I really recommend the Eco Worthy. I get nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna put affiliated links, guys, in all my videos. Now I'm I'm new at this stuff. I'm not a very tech or social media guy. I don't have Facebook and all that bit. But I learned about affiliate marketing. I signed up, and I'm gonna be dropping links of all the stuff that I recommend. If you see a link on any one of my videos, that means I would buy it. I will not put a link on anything that I don't recommend, okay? Because no one's paying me to do this. Uh, this is all on my own dime, and I love it. So, sorry for a long video, guys. I just wanted to... Oh, let me go back to and show you this time clock. What I did was I used 12-4 MC cable. 
12 4 mc cable has five conductors in it it's got four conductors and a ground all the same size so you can see this one here this is the white wire i put a little bit of tape because now this is a current counter this is there is no neutral in here so i've got my 240 volt in and my 240 volt out and that's what's cycling my grid tie inverter i don't need this guy on 24 7. It just sits, and when the, when the grid gets really low, it starts to whine. You hear it like whining, and there's not enough to start it, but it's too little to shut it off, and it just like whines. So it's good to shut this guy off. I had a comment, hey, do you think that's going to shorten the life of your equipment? Hey, that's what this channel's about. We'll find out. So uh, I do shut that off. I did see this in, um, this is not in Home Depot. This is an Intermatic. Um, I, the one I saw in Home Depot is huge. So I'll find a link online. Uh, you can get a Torque. I believe it's a T104. A T101 would be good for like a 120 volt pool, you know, a pool timer. But the T104 gives you the more poles. It's a double pole, double throw time clock. And you can see I have it set from uh, 8 p.m. it go off and goes back on at 6 a.m. and you can you can put as many as these as you want on there so I did get quite a few questions on that and that is right off of this 20 amp grid tie so the output of this breaker is what feeds this guy right and then this bi-directionally pushes back so this is giving me 239 is my grid and this has given me 240. This will always be a little higher. And it will muscle its way back. So again, it comes out of this breaker. 12-4 um, MC cable, one wire with, with five conductors in it. Two of the conductors are coming through. And going into terminal one and terminal three. Terminal one, terminal three. Then the output, terminal two and terminal four, is going back and connecting to this SO cord and feeding the output. So when this guy turns off, that shuts this guy off. In fact, I can show you. So if I shut this off, shuts that guy off. Okay, power it back on, comes back on. Now it'll take a few minutes, because again, it reads the inputs, matches the sine wave, mirrors that, and then starts its output. So it just takes a second for this to come back on. I can hear it. You hear that little, I don't know if you heard that little And that's what this thing will do at like seven or 8 p.m. in the summertime, right? When it has a very little power coming in, you can hear that like, almost sounds like a loose connection, right? So it's good just to kill that and shut that off. Any other questions? Ask me. This is working fantastic, guys. I'm looking forward to bringing this to market for warehousing because every van, every truck is going to be electrified, like it or not, guys. I know I hear the comments, EVs will die, will never happen, never happen. I, you know what, that may be, but I'm not in that camp. I, I can't see, once you drive EV, I mean like my van, this van that I got, love it man absolutely love it I could use this as a daily driver it is so comfortable and quiet and it has 130 mile 140 mile range in the summer and you can extend that to about 150 160 in the chill mode and I absolutely love it so these guys come back and they plug into the smallest chargers I have the smallest ones are these Ford these things are fantastic. I don't have to use a juice box. I don't have to use the Tesla connector. I don't have to use the Ford Lightning connector, okay? I just use these guys. They give a, enough charge at a nice slow rate so that in the morning, these guys are 100% charged, doesn't tax my grid. And like, that's what I was saying how, if because it's the holiday, today's July 3rd, we're uh, half on, half off. A lot of people have taken the day off, taken the week off. 
Um, so the van is here during the day. When the second van comes back, because I have two of these vans, when he plugs in, if it's gonna be darker, I'll just turn on my batteries. So let me show you what happens when I do that. So I'm at 996,000 watts, right? I'm gonna turn them on. Let's see what happens now. See, it went back to zero again, which it will. Watch this thing ramp up. Patience, guys. Time to sing a song. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, and my dear is so delightful. And only you love me so. Come on, photons, come on, photons, come on, photons. Putting a lot of information together here, right? We've got two grids, we've got now batteries. This thing needs to take a little bit to get going, but once it goes, baby, she's gonna go. Now it is cloudy. Clouds just came out, and we were at a thousand watts before the test, right? Let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Oh, uh -oh the fan went off. That's not a good sign. It's not a good sign, but let's see now, because now I've got 100% of everything. I've got my batteries. I've got Manny and Mo, and even with the sundown, now the batteries are starting to come, baby. It was at a thousand, right? Let it snow, let it snow. Oh, there's that sound. Gosh, I love that sound, man. I love that sound. Yeah, got my shirt off because I'm sweating my butt off here working. I'm enjoying some evaporative cooling. Look at this guy, see? Look at it. On this cloudy day, right? The clouds came out when I just did that test. Look at me going here now. Boom! Look at this. Look at this output. So again, without my without Mo, this went down to two and a half kilowatt or two and a half amp. Now with Manny and Mo, I've got both. All right. So I don't want to waste it. You can see I'm using battery. I'm using eight amps out of the battery. I don't need to do that. So I'm going to shut my batteries off. And it's gonna reset back down to zero. But this time it's coming up quicker. You know what it is? The batteries really change my voltage. If you look at my voltage now, I'm at 66.9 volts, combination from both arrays. When I add the battery, that drops because the battery adds more mass and it adds a different voltage, which makes my voltage, my resistance different. And this guy needs to calculate and do his work internally before he turns on. I like this piece. I think it was just 400 bucks. I will leave a link to this guy. I like this. This is by YNH. I got this on Am on Amazon. I'm not really going much to eBay anymore, guys. I'm using Amazon. Um, you know, eBay, I'm finding some crazy sellers. Um, you know, you, and you can't return anything. Good luck if you have to return anything. All right. So that's what's happening. I shut the batteries off. I'm down to 3.4 amps. If I want to get greedy, I turn my batteries back on, but I'm not. I'm going to save that battery power just in case the power were to go out, and then I can backfeed my house. Or when the second van comes home, I'm going to save that charge so that it feeds the van. Boy, I'm probably going to lose all my few subscribers after this video, huh? And look, this is not my truck here. This is one of my employees, so I wouldn't have that truck. There was no way I would have another uh, ICM internal combustion machine. All right, dudes. See you later.